Hello guys, you're welcome to Relationships Q&A with Pastor Labi. So today, I'm going to be answering an interesting question. People ask this question a lot. So the question is, can God bring somebody into your life? Can God make you marry, date, or court somebody you're not attracted to? Now, people ask this question, and I personally believe that no, God will not do that. Okay. Um, however, you need to understand what do you even do you even know what attraction means? The word attraction, because a lot of the time, what you are attracted to is 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 not is not is not is not, is not in God's plan for your life. A lot of the time, people feel that oh, what attracting you in somebody, you are lost in again that person. Does that make sense? So you need to be very careful and submit your will to God. In fact, attraction is a force that pulls two objects together. So it's a force that pulls. So if, for example, now you're a lady and a guy comes to you and say, you know, I've prayed a few of my husband, but I've been my wife. And you are like, well, I want a tall guy. He's short. So definitely he's not the one. You are not attracted to short people only tall people. But what if in God's bigger picture, you're supposed to marry a short person? Okay? I think you need to be convinced, you need to know the mind of God for you. You know, while we have all this list of who we want to marry, submit your list to God. Because sometimes people say, I'm not attracted to him. But do you even, do you even understand what attraction is? Do you know many people that are married today would tell you that yesterday, I never thought I'd marry this person. There was a story of a couple, of a pastor, okay, who's married now, who's married to the same lady now. But before, before when, when the pastor was chasing the lady, the lady would pour water on him, would curse him, would do so many things. I don't like you. I don't find you this. I don't, but the, 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 the young man who wasn't even a pastor then persist, you know, keep waiting and kept praying kept waiting because he had a conviction in him, okay? However, some guys, some ladies have chased the will of God away because what they are looking for is not what is coming forth. But you need to, you need to be convinced because attraction, right? A lot of us, we have the wrong understanding of attraction. You know, why I personally do not feel that God would bring somebody into your life that you are not attracted to. But also, I also feel that God is all-knowing. God will do what, what he believes is right for you, not what you think is right for you. God is all-knowing. So God knows you in 10, 20 years' time. There was a story of a, of, of a young guy who wanted to marry a pointed nose ladies he just you know i want my wife must have a pointed nose okay so and scripture says that god will answer you according to the idol in your heart okay so god will answer so eventually after after searching he found a woman with a pointed nose okay a few months after the marriage the woman was cooking and in the kitchen there was accident and her nose got burnt. Right now, what do you do to that? I, would, would he leave the lady because of the pointed nose? Okay, so you need to be very careful. A lot of the time, we are very rigid. We are very static. We are so one-directional. But God doesn't have that for us. Okay, so a lot of people would just say, I'm not at, you, you don't even know what attraction is. Do you even know what attracts a man to you or you to a man? A lot of time, attraction has nothing to do with physical. To be honest, I feel attraction is more spiritual than physical because it's a chemistry thing. It's that thing, you just cannot explain it. But a lot of the time, ladies who want a guy with six pack. So if you ain't got six pack, if he's got one pack, then he's not the one. Okay, or if he's not tall, he's not the one. If he's too short, he's not the one. You know, if he doesn't have a car, he's not the one. If he doesn't play instrument, he's not the one. All those things, Scripture says, physical things will fade away. Okay? Physical things. So I'm really going to encourage you. 
okay when if you are single now listen to my advice ladies in particular if you are single and short guys are the one approaching you but you want a tall guy go and pray that might be God's will for your life some of us God will not even answer the I do in our heart because he knows it will destroy us you know some of you ladies you are single because of because you have idol in your heart, you are not ready to let go and really submit to God. And because of where God is taking you to, God will not answer that idol and you will remain single until you are ready to listen to God. Okay, so go back to God in prayer. And some people, you, you see, there's nothing like love at first sight, I think, I believe. It is lost at first sight. You see something, you like it. You grow to love somebody. Give people a chance and you grow to love them. Okay, so why God will not bring somebody you are not attractive to, but if they keep coming, if they keep coming, then that is, that is a statement. For me, you need to go back to God and pray and be sure because you have these 10 things you want looking for in a guy. It must be this, it must be that. Does, is God having that same 10 things? As well, if God only has one, and that is my will, say, God, I have 20 lists, but I submit these 20 lists to you. Let your will be done. And I believe that, you know, you will find the right person and you'll be able to settle. So I hope I've been able to answer the question. If people, if guys or ladies keep coming to your life and they are not what you want, you have been waiting for three, four, five years, they are not what you want. Maybe what you want is not what God wants. Okay? But by adventure, it could be what you want is what God wants. Then that's fine. Once, you see, it's, it's about having a conviction. Remember, what, what God wants for your life is not physical. It's a spiritual thing. So all these six packs, 20 packs, you know, height. God is, you are going to marry my son. You're going to marry my will. That's it. So if, for some people, are, some people are just lucky that their list happen to be in sync with the, with with God's plan for their life. But that doesn't happen to everyone. Okay, you know, I was speaking to one of my school daughter recently, you know, very tall lady, she said, I can like, nah, marry somebody short. I'm like, what if God, you want to marry a tall lady, want to marry a tall guy, and you give her to tall children. Your children are so tall that they're just tall, taller shape, they're just tall. You know, maybe God is trying to bring somebody that's not too short, too tall, you know, so that you can, you can balance. When your children are coming to life, it can be balanced something, you know. But go back to God in prayer. Be open. It's, I, I, it's okay to have lists, but let your list be open and say, God, I'm going to give this to you. Because if you keep waiting, keep waiting, that means something is wrong with your list. And your list will all, will your list will become the idols in your heart and they keep limiting you from really giving the real person a chance in your life okay so i hope i've been able to answer the question the question really is would god bring somebody but for me submit your will whatever you have a plan say god this is what i have but let your will be done and if short people keep coming you know maybe that's god's way for you if guys if guys are coming to your life they, have, they haven't got six pack Maybe you are not meant to marry a six-pack person. But when you, the person you are now dating, you can make them to have six-pack. You see? Go, tell them to go to the gym. Go to the gym with them. Encourage them. A lot of the time you want to finish material, but God will give you a raw, a raw material. God will give you something raw. Then you will make it into a finished product. Okay? So what you see, you might not like it, but it's, it has nothing to do with you. If that's the will of God for you, whether you like it or not, the will of God will prevail. Okay, so you might not like what you see, but if it's God's will for you, then it will manifest. So I hope I've been able to answer the question. Thank you very much for listening to me today. Please like, share, and drop a comment on my video. God bless you and God bless me. Find your friend. Tell them your Lord that you need them. Yeah. Give them a dose. Oh, that heavy love